Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate another shader action that allows us to dissolve in or dissolve out any 3D object in Copper Cube Game Engine. This shader action is completely free to download from my website www.neophyte.cf. You can download the shader action from here. Once you have downloaded and installed the extension to your computer, now open up your Copper Cube editor. Let me just maximize it. I'm going to delete the default skybox texture and I'm going to attach a new skybox blue here. And then we are going to open our ir edit and ir lit properties. So go to view, then click show ir edit and ir lit properties. If you are unable to see this option here, then you need to go to your tools and then editor options and then Check mark this show it edit and delete options in your editor options. You need to restart your editor in order to apply the changes made here. Then we are going to apply our behavior or shader action to this cube mesh. In order to apply the shader action, first we need to apply our behavior. And I'm going to apply when a keys press do something behavior. I'm going to change the key type to F and then we are going to supply our shader action here. So click this plus button here, go to scripted action and search for dissolve shader. Once you have selected dissolve shader, you will be provided with bunch of properties. As always, first one is our affecting node. It is the node on which the shader is going to be applied. So in this case, we are going to use cube mesh. So select our cube mesh one here. Then we have affect all materials as always this is if you uncheck this then you can specify the material index of your object which you want to be affected by the shader but in this case we are going to affect all the materials of this cube mesh and this cube mesh has only one material so it doesn't matter if i check this or uncheck this then we have base material type we need to provide a transparent material type here, either transparent add or transparent alpha channel, but it needs to be a transparent texture type or material type. So leave it to 13 or you can use 12 here if you want to use transparent additive. Then we have dissolve in. If you check this, then the object will dissolve in. If you uncheck this, then the object will dissolve out. Then we have animation speed. You can increase or decrease the speed. I'm going to use 0 0.5 here. And then we have edge color. We can specify whatever color we want for the edges. For example, I'm going to use yellow or maybe green. Then we have edge width. You can specify whatever width of the... You can use whatever width you want to use for the edge, but I recommend you to use the default value 0 0.1. Then we can also specify an action on complete. Once the animation gets completed, then if you want to execute an action, for example, when the object dissolves out or when the cube mesh dissolve out, you want it to get deleted. Then you can use delete a scene node action here to delete this cube mesh once it is dissolved out. And then click OK. And why we need to open a Reddit inlet properties? Let me just tell you why because setting up this shader is a bit complicated so please watch the video carefully once you are once you have selected your cube mesh you need to go to your materials tab in ir edit and relate properties then we need to provide an alpha noise channel as second texture slot for this cube mesh so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna add some alpha noise maps in our editor as you can see, I have downloaded a bunch of different noise maps on my desktop and I'm going to import them in the editor. So I'm going to select them all and click open. And then I'm going to supply any of them as a second texture slot for our cube mesh. So I'm going to select this Berlin noise gray 2 PNG and supply it as our second texture. And then if I test the application now by pressing Ctrl F10 and now if I press F then this cube mesh should dissolve out. 
So if I press F now, then you can see the cube mesh just dissolved out with a green edge color. You can change the color if you want. So select the cube mesh, go to our behavior, and then this and in the shader action properties, you can change the edge color to whatever color you want, for example, red. And if I test the application now, if I press F then it will fade out or dissolve out with red outlines. Then we have dissolve in option here and setting up this option is a bit different or a bit complicated. So if I check mark this and hit OK and now if I test the application and if I press F now then it will dissolve in but uh, with the black texture. So if I press F then you can see it is dissolving in but with a black texture. That's because we need to provide three textures for dissolving in our cube mesh or for the dissolving in effect. So first we need to provide a transparent add black texture if we are going to use a transparent add material or a transparent material if we are going to use transparent alpha material. So I have this black texture. So I'm going to supply this black texture here. Then I'm going to change my material type from solid to transparent add so that this cube mesh will become transparent. Because if we want to dissolve in, then we want our cube mesh to be transparent when the game starts or when the scene begins. So we need to make this cube mesh transparent. So I use this black texture as our first texture then we have this transparent add material type then we need to provide our second texture as our noise channel so I'm gonna use this one as my second texture then we need to provide third texture as our main texture or you can say diffuse texture or albedo texture so we are going to supply our main texture here which is our default texture for cube mesh as the third texture and now if I press ctrl F10 and if I press F now then the cube should dissolve in with the main texture so if I press F now then you can see the cube now dissolved in with the main texture and with this alpha noise pattern so if I press ctrl F10 again and press F now let me just delete this default sky box, bl blue sky box and change my background color to black so that we can see the dissolution more clearly. So if I press Ctrl F10 and if I press F now, then you can see. And if I move just close to this cube mesh. All right, it's pretty good. We can change the noise texture here with this one. And if I press F, then, wow, it's pretty good. We can also swap back the textures and change it to dissolve out and change that animation speed for example 0 0.1 and then this will dissolve out with a red color we can also change the color to something like blue high blue and then press F and wow, bam, change the noise, bam, I think it's pretty cool effect and yeah, just let me just use this animated man here 
and supply second texture slot. My noise channel, noise map channel is second texture slot. And in our behavior and inside our action, we are going to change from cube mesh to man and just see what happens when you press F. So our character is dissolving out. We can increase the speed, for example, 0 0.5 and press F. It's much faster now. We can also increase the edge width, for example, 0 0.5, then the edges will be much wider. And we can also use an action here. For example, we want to change the texture of our cube mesh once the animation gets completed. So, change a texture, select a scene node, we want to change the texture of our cube mesh, then select this rusty metal texture. And if I press F, and bam, the texture gets changed. So, yep, that's it. That's how the shader works and I hope you like the shader. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon. And a link to this shader action will be provided in the description down below. Don't forget to download it. Have a good day. Bye bye. Hasta la vista.